Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club once again in partnership with Euro Electric at their awards winning Power Summit in Brussels 2022. And we spoke with the energy players and now we speak with the guys who are active in the electric vehicles. Yes, and uh, it's very interesting because actually we see a lot of, uh, like you know, like a usual electric cars. And here we have a computer on the wheels, yes, computer on the wheels, which is uh, to deliver stuff from point A to point B. So we are together with uh, Mary J, who is a director for public policy at Arrival. So hello, uh, Mary J. Hi, very nice to meet you. So Mary J, uh, I remember when in 2014 I met Tony Siba, who wrote Cleantech Disruption. He told me, Thomas, you will see in the future all the cars will be electric, yes, all the transportation will be electric, all the cars will be self-driving, etc. And actually people were saying, ah, it's not feasible, not possible to experience it and stuff. And actually we are seeing already a lot of cars which are on the market and also a lot of startups which actually are starting the true production, yes? yes. So could you tell me more about uh, Arrival? Absolutely. We're a new EV manufacturer. We have taken a completely blank sheet approach to the design and the production of electric vehicles. So unlike other automotive manufacturers who have had to uh, take legacy vehicles and trying to transition them into clean vehicles, we've started from the ground up, which means that we're able to, to power a really sustainable, really equitable um, electric vehicle for, for everybody. You know, the green transition shouldn't be elitist, it shouldn't be expensive. We're in the commercial vehicle space. We have our van here today. We also have a bus and a car program. We've very specifically decided to go into the commercial vehicle space because that's where we can have the biggest impact, make the most miles, most kilometers, zero emission miles. Um, you can see here today that the van, um, one of the things I'd point out is the body panels here are not made from steel, which is a, one of the key differences between us and other automotive manufacturers. They're made from a composite material, which is fully recyclable. Again, we have a much lower uh, um, footprint and much lower um, environmental impact, both from our vehicles and our production process. Uh, what really stands out about Arrival and makes us very unique is our micro factory production model. So we have a decentralized production model with micro factories that can be placed anywhere in a region mm. or a city, producing customized vehicles for that region. It's quite interesting now approach with all the geopolitical situation, yes? So when before we had in one country like a production hub, and now I think we will be having more productions in div uh, diversified uh, locations, yes? That's absolutely the arrival model. So in our DNA is this localized production model utilizing local talent, mm -hmm. designing the vehicle for that region, the bus for that, that region, for example, the last mile delivery van for that region, um, close to market. So we can reduce uh, CO2 from logistics operations. We have you know, smaller supply chains. It's a much more sustainable, much more mm -hmm. equitable way of producing electric vehicles. And uh, how would you like to compete with the big guys? Well, from the TCO point of view, the, you know, the, the electric vans and buses, they already, the argument is already there, I would say, to, to some extent. But what really stands us out, one of the things about these composite materials is um, the paint, the, the colour is weaved in. We don't have a paint shop, we don't have metal stamping. So from a cost point of view, we're going to be very cost competitive. Also, there'll be uptime for operators because scraps... Uh, uh, scratches and scrapes that happen in depots and things like that with a composite body panel um, it will bounce right back or the color is not taken off so there's also uh, savings there that operators will make as well and in terms of quality like uh, you know the big brands they have you know long uh, history yes and they have all the quality check and stuff and how how do you would like to uh, compete actually. Yeah, well, when it comes to commercial vehicles, it's very much a rational decision that um, fleet companies and operators are taking. It's um, unlike a passenger car where maybe it's a bit more of an emotional decision about which brand you want to go for. Um, uh, for a commercial vehicle, it, it's, it's very much, you know, the, the cost of ownership, you know, what's mm -hmm. going to give me the most payload, the most range um, at, at, at the right price. And we're certainly going to be very competitive there. Okay, so uh, I spoke with some of your team members. Uh, Let's say that in a couple of years, uh, most of the cars, uh, especially in the commercial space, will be self-driving, yes? So are you ready for this? We've got a lot of R&D projects that are um, working on the self-driving aspects. I mean, I think, my personal opinion in Europe, it's still a little way away. I don't think it's the next couple of years. I think it's a bit further beyond that to have a truly self-driving. But there are a lot of very interesting applications already in depots or more controlled environments where you can, um, uh, you know, in, in, in a safe way, have that completely autonomous. Okay, so when you speak uh, about strategy with your managers, yes? 
And so, of course, you foresee that one day there will be 100% of electric cars. So Absolutely. when it will be? I, in Europe, I think in inner cities it should be 2025, personally, across Europe, 20, 2035. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, Cleantech Business Club together with uh, Mary J, yes, who is working for Arrival. Let's hope that Arrival cars will arrive to the market very soon. We're starting production and delivery in the UK with um, deliveries then in Europe at the beginning of 2023. Oh, okay. So let's hope that we can meet in UK, yes, and to see arrival of arrival cars uh, to the customers. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.